everybody, this is Sunglass Rob from SportRx and I'm here with Tyler, super optician from SportRx to talk about the difference between the Costa Fantail and the Costa White Tip. That's good. I think the main difference is if you get the White Tip, you can be annoying and go White Tip and that's it. No, I'm just kidding. There's a lot of differences, kind of. So just if you're trying to decide which one's the right pair for you, I think the first place to start is the temple. So the fantail has a thicker temple that has a kind of a dramatic hook that completely hooks behind your ear. Some people are more into that. Where the white tail, uh, white tip has more of a uh, little more of a modern temple design. It's a little bit thinner, a uh, little bit more contemporary, and um, kind of goes a little bit more straight back. It definitely still has a hook and goes behind your ear and is meant to go far enough behind your ear so the hat doesn't get in the way, but it doesn't have more of that dramatic hook. And while we're on the temples, another difference is the white tip has this hole in the back of the temple where you can potentially put a leash in there, like through there, where the, um, oh, you could probably use some fishing line. I guess you guys might know a little bit about that. Yeah. Um, where this one kind of have to either put the croaky over here or, or the, the leash over here or the leash over the top. I do hear that there's a new Costa a leash coming out for 2019 that'll fit through there, but unconfirmed, don't, you know, search the Googles for all of that stuff. So um, as far as the front of the glasses, the shape of the lens is a little bit different. The fantail is a little bit more rectangular and the uh, white tip is a little bit more angled, a little bit more of an angle to it. And then the white tip also has a little bit of venting in the frame. Tyler's here, not only because he's handsome and funny, but these are, both of these glasses are more of a small to medium fit. Maybe the fantails are slightly bigger, mm -hmm. but they're both too small for me, so I won't even put them on for you. It wouldn't really help you. Um, so that's about a medium fit, I would say. Those fit you kind of almost perfect, and that's kind of what they're gonna look like. And how do they feel with the hat, just fine? So they feel good. I like uh, this fit a lot. I feel like it's not too big. I feel like it's not too small. It really does. I think it, it is a perfect fit for me. And I'm going to uh, kind of spoiler a little bit. These do feel a little on the small side. Yeah. And I've been called petite. I've been called small. I think I'm more on the medium range of the small to medium. And, and these fit me really well. So yeah, put those on and they almost feel a little too small for you. So maybe one other difference is if you have a smaller than medium head, then uh, maybe think about the white tip. What? I do want to say, uh, obviously there are all of the feature differences, uh, but for a lot of you, it's really going to boil down to just stylistic difference, how you like the look of it. Uh, I think that in my personal opinion, I like the style of this a little bit more. The fan that, tail? You're yeah, a fan that kinda, of the fan tail? Ah! Ah. It's more of the rectangular design, and this has kind of more of a geometric shape. Uh, which definitely there are people out there. There's a lot of people that like that. Who are really yeah. gonna like this. Um, but that's something obviously to, to pay note to. Yeah, and they, they're both Kosas, so they're great glasses. They use the bio resin nylon, which is a more environmentally friendly of making the glasses, super durable hinges, um, 580 lenses, available in prescription, like all the really good stuff that you're gonna expect at a Costa. So kind of a little bit of a fit, kind of a little bit of a style difference, kind of a little bit of a temple design difference. As far as like hardcore measurements go, the um, white tip width of the lens is 58 millimeters, the height of the lens is 38 millimeters, the distance between the lenses or the nose bridge area is 19 millimeters, the hinge to hinge like overall width of the frame is about 130, the temple length is 122, um, yeah and then on the fantail the width of the lens is a little bit bigger 59 millimeters, the height is a little tiny bit bigger at almost 39 millimeters, the nose bridge area is actually a tiny bit smaller at about a 17 and a half, the hinge to hinge is effectively the same, um, but even though they feel like they fit a little bit bigger heads uh, at that 130, and then the temple length is um, a little bit shorter at the 120. So hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully you decided which ones you want to get. If you're still not sure, uh, put a comment down in the comment section, put your questions down there. We'll help you pick out the right pair, or you can email info at SportRx, or you can call us. You can even actually ask for Tyler. We have a bunch of really smart, fun, happy opticians on the phones that know a lot about Costa can help dial in the right exact pair for you and what lens color to get and all that good stuff. We'd love to help you figure that out. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and uh, yeah, um, yeah, see what's out there. Tell me, tell me which ones you think look the best. Oh for me. yeah, that's a good question. And about if I look, I look handsome. You always look handsome.
Thank you.